this one got to finally see gay characters in the movie played by gay actors Jamie Clayton, beautiful trans actress, playing the high priest or pinhead, um, which is gonna just be so badass. How is your day going? How's all? How's how's your week? How's your month? <laughs> day is great. It's day one of Pride, and I'm at Stonewall, and it's pretty spectacular with the whole bubbly team and getting to talk about being gay and whatnot. Yeah, that is exciting, man. I mean, you're right there. Still, I see the bubbly, the bubble, the oh, the God. cans behind you there. All the, the cans of bubbly, easily like the best of the seltzers, hands down. Truly, no question. Refreshing. They have a caffeinated one now, thirty five milligrams. It's wonderful. I that's the best. I love the caffeinated ones because I'm like, I don't want to drink like a soda, you know, like. Yeah, caffeinated I mean, bubbly. <laughs> so this bubbly campaign is is really really exciting. It's really cool, and and I would love to know a little bit about you know your involvement and kind of what brought you into the fold on this. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's it's a film about coming home, um, paired with Muna's music and Naomi McPherson and Kimia Bipornia and Yuriko O'Hara all star in it, and it's tracking this non-binary character, Jack, who is sort of finding their way into a safe space and a collective community that, that is really um, highlighting chosen family, which I think given the state of the world right now, um, given my own prior experiences, um, chosen family is incredibly important and vital. And I think um, I was drawn to the campaign just uh, in gratitude to highlight that. Sure, sure. And, and you know, uh, you're, when you say kind of the state of the world and, and the importance of this right now, I mean, I, that, that cannot be understated, you know? I mean, it, right. there is a lot out there right now that that the LGBTQ community are facing and and it is tragic. And and uh, so uh, I think it's really incredible that you've partnered with Bubbly and that you've, you guys have got this this film and and and, and the Stonewall, the, the Bubbly is donating, uh, if I'm not mistaken, let me look at my notes here, $100,000 to the Stonewall Inn Gives Back Initiative, which as we mentioned, Safe Spaces, that's what that organization does what, what do you find is like the greatest importance of that brandon well i think i mean i'd be remiss to not mention that they're like providing this money to spaces that are in places like grand rapids michigan and like jacksonville florida um which are you know very specific spaces that that don't necessarily provide a ton of these homes that you know, people on the coasts um, have really come to be reliant on. Um, so I think that's incredibly important. And um, I think sets an example for what, what needs to happen on a grander scale for, for peace of mind and for safety. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I hear that. You're right. I, um, I am I'm lucky enough to live in Eugene, Oregon, which is, is a very open and accepting city. And, and I have a non-binary child. And so wow. it's been a really, really good experience for, for us um, to be somewhere where there is community and there is safety. And, and I think it is really important that, that, that you and Bubbly and, and, and you know, Stonewall and everybody is doing what they can right now, you know, in this time. To, to create that uh, uh, for everyone uh, around around the nation. I think that's really important. Um, um, I'd love to, if we can, talk about some of your projects. You got, you've got so much going on. You've done so much, and you got so much in front of you, too. It's crazy. Um, um, uh, I'd love to, I guess, let's, let's, let's start in the past first. So going from 13 Reasons Why to Ratchet. Two, so so Justin and Thirteen Reasons Why, Henry Osgood in Ratchet, two wildly different characters with similarly tragic 
sort of trajectories. What what was that juxtaposition like for you? And did you do that on purpose? Like, did you take the Henry Osgood character because of like how similar and yet diverse the 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 roles were? Oh my god, uh, no, I definitely definitely didn't really have that much thought. I think I'm just an excited actor that likes to work, um, but. Uh, you know, definitely I was drawn to being a part of the Ryan Murphy world, um, working with this gay, um, sort of empire that he's created. Um, I think the character, I, I was very lucky to play, play someone so, so different because I, I think I got to just experience like, okay, yeah, this is like, what a range can be and, and how I can play into it. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, it was just really fun to play Henry, like really, <laughs> really fun. You know, I'm much more like Justin, sure. um, in many ways. Um, but Henry was this devious sort of, um, desperate figure. I mean, they had similarities. They both were, desperate to be loved um they just went about it in two different ways sure sure and 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 being that uh 13 reasons why was such an acclaimed and beloved and controversial series you know but not unnecessarily so um what is your reflection on that show now so this many years removed do you do you think on it differently being further away from it or do you still feel like you have the same feelings regarding your character and regarding the show in general yeah i think the feelings are still extremely similar i mean in many ways it wasn't that long ago um you know i think Yeah, truly, I just feel immense gratitude for being able to be a part of that. Um, it doesn't bother me that people um, were frightened by it or whichever words they would use. Um, there's enough love for it that makes me conscious and truly believe that it, it changed a lot of people's lives and perspectives and um, I hope that it sticks around in sort of the pantheon of like shows that we're able to do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I think that it will uh, very much. So, I mean, it, it was a, a hugely popular series. I think people will, it's one of those that people will continue to find over the years, yeah. you know, and revisit. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and jumping forward or, or present, maybe um, you have some, Great, great stuff on the horizon. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to ask about the parenting, which sounds to me like the best movie. Like, I'm so ready. Like, all I did was read about it, and I'm so excited. Um, I would love if, if you could tell me a little bit about that project, that movie, and filming it. Yeah, I think uh, I'm really excited for people to just sit back and laugh um, the whole time. It's a really interesting mixture of horror and comedy. Um, and they wanted to shoot it like a horror movie and make sure that all the scary parts were scary. But in that same vein, we made sure every hysterical part was truly just hysterical. And I feel like people are going to be able to just like sit down, buckle up and go along for the ride. And, um, it's a simple movie. It's, it's not trying to be anything but what it is. And um, I'm excited to like see movies like that again, make, make a comeback. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree with you. And, and it's, it's just such an incredible cast. I mean, it's you and Nick Dodani, Edie Falco, Brian Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Parker Posey. I know I'm missing people, but I mean, look, what a star-studded cast, yeah. first of all. Like, and it seems like I've seen, I've seen, you know, social media posts, seen your posts and, and other posts. And uh, was it a very like friendly atmosphere on set? It seems like you guys all just like got along really, really well. Yeah, it was, it was super friendly. I mean, you know, I think I was gobsmacked when I first started hearing about who was on the film. Cause I was like, 
why, why, why are they doing this? And, um, you know, working with them day in and day out, like I got that, that perspective of why they were doing it. And, um, I got reminded that we all just do this because we really fucking enjoy what we're doing. And, um, yeah, I think that's just going to translate on, on, on screen that everyone's just having a really good time. That's awesome. I'm excited for it. It's, it's coming to HBO Max. Is that right? Did I get yes. that right? Sometime, sometime this year, theoretically. <laughs> Maybe, know. Who knows? You know, I know. You know, it changes all the time. <laughs> uh, okay, so, so lastly, uh, I'll bring up Hellraiser. I'm very, very excited about Hellraiser, Brandon. I'm, I've got my Hellraiser pen right here. Hey, and, and I, like I had to like physically stop myself from wearing any one of the like 14 Hellraiser t-shirts. I, <laughs> I was like, don't do it. It's too obvious, <laughs> but I'm, I'm very excited and, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm sure that there's not a lot you can say about it. I know that they're doing their best to kind of keep things under wraps, which I appreciate as a fan. Um, but I would love to know a little bit about your experience working on that, that project. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was very cool as someone who, I, especially the first, first Hellraiser, I grew up on it and adored it and thought it was one of those like just perfect movies. Like it had style, it had horror, it had perfect amount of gore and just uncomfort involved. Um, the the Hellraiser we made, what brought me to it most was that it, the vision for Hellraiser was always that it was a metaphor for being a closeted man, going through the sort of BDSM scene and, and the, the parallels of pleasure and pain and... Um, secrets really and um this one got to finally see gay characters in the movie played by gay actors jamie clayton beautiful trans actress playing the high priest or pinhead um which is gonna just be so badass um but it also i think the most magical part for fans old and new is it really does an intentional job at telling the mythology of the box and how that really works. And I think that's really, really exciting and kind of illuminates a lot of things. And I think people are going to go back and watch the other ones and it's, it's going to exist with each other. And I'm really excited for that. Oh, cool. Good. Well, I'm very, very excited. I, I know that that's coming to Hulu sometime this year, so I am eager. And uh, hey, maybe we'll get to chat again whenever the time rolls around for press for that, because hopefully, I, I'm i just so, so eager for that movie. Um, uh, Brandon, I really appreciate your time today. I, I'm grateful to you for it. Um, um, the, the, the bubbly, uh, partnership here is just amazing. Um, and people can go to bubbly's, uh, uh, um, uh, social media, your social media and see kind of everything that's going on with that. Um, um, check out, out the Stonewall Inn gives back initiative online. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for taking time to chat today. I really appreciate it. Brandon. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Happy sir. Pride. <laughs>